All right, folks. So what we have here is a BTEC DMR radio. Specifically, it's the DMR 6X2. Um, this is a smaller handheld digital radio. I had been in the market for one of these for a while. What I want to do today is just an unboxing video. I'm not endorsing this radio. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. I'm not reviewing this radio. We're just going to unbox it, see what it ships with, and uh, maybe do some size comparison. If that sounds like something you're interested in, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully everybody made it back. Before we get started, I wanted to say that uh, this actually came in the mail yesterday, and uh, it's been killing me not to open this up. But I wanted to do it on video. That way we can share this moment together and we can make it last forever. Anyhow, like I said earlier, this is an unboxing video. We're gonna probably have a few first initial impressions. It is no way a review or an endorsement. I've been looking to get into digital radio for a long time and I just never felt that uh, the radios were ready. I felt that there was hardware problems or bugs and stuff like that. And I in the software and the firmware and, and I get that that's still the case. But uh, I felt pretty good about uh, where this radio is, and I felt pretty good about some of the folks that uh, I spoke to in the, the user community, people who had them. There's not a lot of information about this radio on the internet, but there is a lot of information uh, around the Anytone. I think it's the Anytone D686. Maybe it's this UV686D um, that this radio is based off of. So I felt pretty good going into it. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get it open and see uh, what this package ships with. Just real quick, I did want to show um, that this label on here. There's not much on the box, but this talks a little bit about the frequencies, the model number, and the FCC ID, and that it's made in China. So uh, everybody just calm down. It is a Chinese radio. Um, I did pay about 170 bucks for this, which is inside of my budget uh, that I set out. I did a video a couple days ago around which DMR radio I should buy. And uh, I did say that I had a budget of around 200 bucks. I do want to buy uh, a couple of accessories for this. I want to buy a handheld mic, and uh, that's going to take it up to right around 200 bucks, maybe a little bit over. Anyhow, voila! <clears throat> it does come with a, uh, a user guide or an operations manual, operating manual. But you know, we don't read those here. Actually, I, I am going to read that, and I've already downloaded the PDF version before I bought this radio, and I started reading that. Um, also, I installed the software on a Windows 10 machine, and uh, inside the zip file that comes with the software, there's also this uh, code plug programming guide, and uh, I did go through this a little bit. I'm by no means an expert on this radio or DMR in general, but uh, I, did, I did do a little bit of research about this radio specifically. Okay, one of the things I liked about this radio, as I mentioned, uh, was the budgetary options. And it comes with a programming cable. This cable does not have any chips in it. It's just a direct connect. So when you install drivers on your computer, it's actually to work the radio. Let's take a quick look at this radio. And uh, there you go. Not much to it. Uh, this has similar information as to what was printed on the box. Let's just do a quick size comparison. I'm gonna grab a couple of, uh, of common radios that folks may be familiar with. So here it is compared to uh, Balfang. This is a BF F9V2+, Plus, but it is the same size and dimensions as the uh, UV5R. So you can see they're pretty similar. This is a little bit bigger, but I would expect it to be. And then here it is next to probably my favorite handheld radio that I have, um, the Yaesu FT60. Uh, the Yaesu FT60 is heavier, but it does have a battery attached, so we'll see um, how that weight comparison uh, moves forward. Alright, what else do we have? We have a uh, lithium ion battery. Now this radio is supposed to ship with two batteries. One is of a larger capacity. Let's go ahead and uh, see how we put that on. So it looks like there's some information there that I need to put in, a <laughs> date and time. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and fool with this right now. I do want to read a little bit more. It comes with a lanyard strap. I never use lanyard straps with handheld radios. I probably should, but I don't. It comes with two pocket clips, belt clips. 
Uh, if you take a look, one of the things that I don't like is that this radio, the clips attach to the uh, battery as opposed to the radio. And I'm not sure why, but that just rubs me the wrong way. If you take a look at uh, the FT, um, the FT60, the pocket clip attaches directly to the chassis of the radio. And then we have an antenna. We're going to do some more reviews and tests on this radio. We're going to do some some uh, bandwidth and frequency tests. We're going to do some range tests, some antenna tests, antenna matching tests. So I, I don't know if this this antenna is any good or not, but we'll find out. And then it comes with a docking station, uh, so you can charge charge the uh, the battery. But that's pretty standard fare with a handy talkie. And then it looks like it comes with a wall board AC adapter, which uh, can be expected. One of the drawbacks of this radio, I really wish there was a port on this battery or on this on this um, this radio where I could just charge this via USB or just charge it directly without this. So. What this means is, is that uh, I want to use this as an EDC radio. I'll probably carry it in a bag because it's a little bit bigger. But um, now i got to take this thing with me when I go. Um, I never use these. This is an ear mic and probably a microphone and a, uh, there you go, earbud you can put in your ear. I don't like these, so I'm not going to use that. And then uh, it says right here, 3100 milliamp battery located under the tray. So... This is the larger capacity battery. Now, the reason that I believe that the pocket clip is attached to the batteries as opposed to the um, to the radio, let's see if I can get this off of here, is that when you put this thicker battery on here, a lot of times what you do get is you get an angle problem with how your pocket clip is mounted. Um, when it's on the radio, it'll stick out a little further and be kind of goofy just because of the extra thickness of the higher capacity battery. Um, it would be nice if the battery was a little came down further here, maybe not so far in the back like some of the Baofeng batteries. Anyhow, a lot of people make mistakes about this um, this radio because it's B-Tech, which is Baofeng Tech. It's a USA company that kind of warranties and ships Baofeng radios. That it is a Baofeng radio, and it's not. Uh, we talked about this is manufactured by Anytone for B-Tech. Um, the last thing I want to talk about from an initial impression standpoint is that this is a SMA connector and it's the male SMA connector. And I hate that. I don't know why they put these on the radio. Um, I wish they would take a, uh, let me just take this off real quick. I wish they would take a, p a page out of um, Yesu's book where they would put the female um, side of the antenna connection on the radio because, you know, if something happens to this pin, you're pretty much done for. Um, it's a it's a probably extensive repair. Your radio might be done. Um, this pin is a little delicate. It's a little fragile, and it just doesn't make any sense. Just put that on the on put the male end on the antenna, and then you don't have those kind of problems. Anyhow, we're probably going to put an adapter on here and use a signal search antenna. We're going to test all that out in later videos. Anyhow, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing, show what uh, this radio comes with, maybe do a little bit of a size comparison, uh, so you guys can see a little bit of differential there. I'm not endorsing this radio. I'm not telling you to go out and buy it. This is not a review. This is just an unboxing and very brief initial impressions. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to see more videos of similar content or similar nature, go ahead and click that like button. Maybe leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks.